Alright, so chances are if you're watching a makeup tutorial, this isn't the first time you've tried to watch a makeup tutorial. I mean, there are so many of these, right? There are an endless stream of makeup tutorials. However, very rarely will a tutorial explain to you how to actually use the makeup products themselves. They won't explain what the actual product is even called. <laughs> For example, they won't be like, oh, this is lipstick, this is how you put it on, that kind of thing. Instead, they'll usually uh, let you know about a celebrity collaboration lipstick or um, some kind of uh, special one that they got for an event. You don't need that. You don't, you don't need to do that. <laughs> All you need is really basic makeup you can get anywhere, okay? Let's go through it. So this video will have um, a little video of me putting on makeup. I filmed it earlier, so it's gonna be spliced randomly throughout the video. So I can't see it right now because I'm recording this. So let's cover it, right? So uh, I'm gonna show you like what products actually look like generally, how to actually put them on your face and why we put them on our face, <laughs> okay? So let's start with the utmost basics, right? sunscreen okay no no you know, probably not sunscreen it's bear with me we're going absolute basics before you put your makeup on try putting on sunscreen on your face doesn't matter what you use you don't have to use special um lady gaga sponsored sunscreen um that was limited edition a couple of years ago it's not like that you can grab a random sunscreen and go yeah that one you know you can just click any sunscreen it doesn't matter you can go, yeah, that one looks good. And then put it on your face. <laughs> you want to put it on your face before you put the rest of your makeup because sunscreen uh, works best when it touches your skin, right? And a lot of makeup is actually a layer you're putting on top of your skin. So it's probably better to do your makeup <laughs> after you do sunscreen, okay? That's the first part. All right. I'm gonna say something you've probably never seen before. A primer, right? Um, actually, apparently that's <laughs> like wall painting primer. That's not what I mean. I mean makeup primer. <laughs> okay, okay, so this is a bit confusing. This is a lot more challenging than sunscreen, but bear with me, okay? I'm gonna explain what a primer even is and how to use it, okay? So we're going to be putting a lot of stuff on our face, right? And when we put stuff on our face, there's a chance it might like fly off, uh, melt, disintegrate somehow and disappear. That's not good. We want the makeup to stay on our face. All primer is, is like a cream or a powder. It doesn't matter which you put that on your face and that will keep whatever makeup you put on top of it to last longer. All it does is make whatever is on top of it last longer. That's it. That's all primer does. <laughs> primer comes in many forms. In the video you're watching, I'm using a cream. And all I do is dab a bit on my finger and just rub it all over my face. You don't have to use a brush for this, to be honest. <laughs> you can just use your mouth. No, not your mouth, you can use your fingers. Um, in the description, I will put the makeup products I use but let me make something clear you don't have to use those products <laughs> because they are simply an option a lot of makeup does functionally the same thing and if you're watching a video like this chances are the differences between products you won't notice and that's fine um, this is just to get you started and once you try a couple of different primers you'll just find one that you will just like more <laughs> Like, sometimes you just like a product more for seemingly no reason. You won't know why. Alright, let's get to the big one. Found, uh, apparently, um, house foundation. Uh, that's not what I meant. Uh, makeup. <laughs> okay, makeup's very complicated, but it's also really simple. <laughs> there is an obstacle that we're facing, as this is a tutorial about chances are you can't just walk into a makeup store and ask for foundation in your color right um so 
Here's what we're gonna do, all right? I'm gonna explain what foundation is, and then I'm gonna explain how to get foundation, okay? So, all foundation does is creates like a smooth layer over the skin, and it just makes it look like the skin looks better. It looks smoother. That's why you'll see a lot of influencers and celebrities have seemingly perfect skin. Now, some of them do have perfect skin because they use a crazy amount of um, <laughs> beauty routines that I don't even know how to do. But a foundation can generally make your skin look a little better and a lot smoother and it roughs out some edges, which can help achieve a feminine look, you know? Um, so that's super helpful, I find. Um, and it uh, can come in many forms. So it can be a liquid, uh, kind of like this one. Well, I don't want to go to the, the page, but here we are. <laughs> um, actually, this is, is this the one I use? That's a coincidence. <laughs> um, doesn't matter. Um, so it can come in a liquid and it can come in a powder. <laughs> um, I don't know this website. Um, I don't know if it's good or not. I'll go over that later. Um, sold out anyway, so it must be good. <laughs> so, uh, with a powder or trying to sell me stuff, <laughs> um, or a liquid, they do the same thing and you can use whichever one you want. It doesn't matter. The differences are negligible for you. Okay. You don't have to worry about the difference. You can just do the one you like more. I like liquids. Uh, in the video, you can see me applying a liquid. Now, the way I apply it is with a foundation makeup brush. Now, it can be hard to figure out, like, for example, when you look at brushes, <laughs> you're like, okay, what, 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 they're all different shapes. What, which one do I use? <laughs> um, and I'll be real, it doesn't matter that much, to be honest. So when you see brushes like this, like these brush kits have a crazy amount of shapes. It's really intimidating to be like, oh, which one do I use? Um, I can tell you which ones not to use, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> sometimes there's um, brushes that are like angled, kind of like this one is like angled to the side. Uh, don't use those, they're for other stuff. You want a brush that's very big and full, you know? Um, like you can use all sorts of things. So, here's how you actually put foundation on your face. As you can see in the video, I'm just placing a little bit of the liquid on um, my fingers and placing them on both my cheeks, my little bit of my chin, my nose, and my forehead. I don't put that much on my forehead because I have bangs. <laughs> so, uh, what you do is you put the little dots in your face so it'll look kind of funny. And all you do is grab the brush and you brush downwards on the foundation, right? Um, you wanna brush down, not up. <laughs> Cause uh, chances are um, uh, when uh, you happen to be transgender, uh, it's, you might have some facial hair. And when you have like a bit of extra facial hair, um, you don't wanna emphasize that. So if you brush upwards, sometimes it can make the facial hair more visible. I don't, know how true that is of a statement so out of habit i just just in case i brush down so that's my tip you can use it you cannot use it that's okay do what you want to do you know all right so there's all sorts of brushes right there's a crazy amount of brushes if you're not sure just buy a brush kit and just use all of them and see which one works <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that there's no shame in that <laughs> Um, when you want to clean it, you literally grab a cup of a, it's, it's like a dishwasher uh, powder with water, I think it is. And then you just dip the brushes into that. Is uh, However, I uh, am really bad and I don't seem to wash the brushes very often. So <laughs> they can get a bit messy. But if you don't wash them and you use the same shade all the time, it'll probably be fine. Maybe just not the most hygienic. <laughs> Alright, you know how to use foundation, you know how to use makeup brushes. Um, so, uh, what you uh, can learn now 
is eyelid primer. <laughs> eyelid primer is literally a primer, but you put it on your eyelids. Wow, crazy, right? <laughs> I know, crazy facts. That's all it does. That's all you need to know. It comes in like liquids and it, I think it comes in powders. I don't know. Uh, in the video, I just place a little uh, on my eyelid of one finger and then with the other finger, I rub it in. If you put too much on it, it might uh, conflict with the foundation. Now, it's funny, I didn't actually record myself using mascara. It's just very surprising because um, I actually really like mascara and it was actually the first bit of makeup I remember using as when I was like a six year old. No, I was like five, <laughs> sneaking it and grabbing makeup. It was either lipstick or mascara. Um, so, uh, with mascara, uh, all you gotta do is you grab these like big, they look like little bullets. <laughs> And you open it up and there's a little brush basically inside the little bottle part you just dip it in a couple of times like it's paint and what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, close your eyes and you're going to brush the mascara up with your eyelid uh, with the eyelash and uh, to make it more full the reason you do this is mascara makes your eyelashes look more like dark and like full fools the term they use so you can get a dramatic look <laughs> um it can uh give a, a girly impression um <laughs> you've probably seen a lot of influences with like really big eyelashes mascara does not really give you that what gives you that is false lashes <laughs> and uh, we don't have to cover that today because <laughs> false lashes are a bit advanced but i uh, just know that they exist and that's why uh, some people can look like that False lashes. Uh, I haven't used any in ages, I admit. But let's cover something easier. Like lipstick. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll confess, uh, this is definitely my favorite thing to wear early on. It just felt so satisfying, you know? So they come in literally a billion colors, right? <laughs> Hundreds of colors. Just do whatever you want. With something like foundation, you want a foundation that matches the tone of your skin and the way you check that is you get a foundation and rub it into your skin and see if it like suits and blends uh, you can do this on like your wrist if you are feeling sneaky you can even go into a makeup shop uh, do the free sample and just wear a long sleeve shirt and just rub it on your wrists a little see if it suits and then pull your sleeves back up to hide um, and if you're able to uh, if you're not able to go to makeup stores for foundation, uh, you can try ordering really cheap foundations in multiple shades and then try all of them, figure out which works and then order a bigger bottle in the shade that works and then the ones that don't work, uh, donate to your friends or something, I don't know. <laughs> but lipstick, you can do any color you want to be honest. So many colors. So there's a couple of differences. So lipsticks are good for like what's referred to as a matte look, <laughs> um, which just means it's not like glossy, right? You'll hear about lip gloss, like this is a lip gloss over here. Um, this is just a lipstick, but it's just, that's a gloss. <laughs> um, or maybe I'm just bad at this, who knows? But a lipstick will create this kind of look, like a very, you know, a very bold color. Whereas if you want a more subtle and kind of cutesy kind of look, you want a gloss that's like a little nice and colorful. I think uh, you can use both for either look, but lipsticks are good for uh, looking like bold, sexy, and um, like uh, powerful, you know? Um, whereas um, lip glosses are more like your cutesy kind of subtle looks. Um, but you can use both for the other, that kind of thing. It doesn't really matter. Uh, just keep in mind that when you're wearing lipstick, it's a lot harder to eat. <laughs> um, so be sure to be careful of uh, what meals you decide to eat while wearing it. If you're going out, <laughs> it can be uh, quite the difficulty <laughs> to uh, do that, you know. Um, so uh, now that we have lipstick covered, uh, which by the way, there is a thing called lip primer. I don't use it, but it exists. 
Yeah, you just place it on your lip. That's that's kind of it. <laughs> if you've watched a lot of makeup tutorials, you've probably seen this a couple of times, a lip liner. All a lip liner does is you create a shape um, alongside the lip and then fill it in with a lipstick. Um, sometimes with like feminizing makeup, uh, some people will draw a line a bit higher than their natural lip because like femininity is usually associated with um, the lip closer to the nose. However, you don't have to do this. I don't do this. A lot of people don't do this. I think this is more of a trick from the early 2000s. <laughs> I don't think people do it that much now, <laughs> but you can do that. Um, but you probably want to keep the little bow at the top of the lip, that little, that little notch. You probably want to keep that still there. Otherwise the lip might look a little funny. <laughs> it's a common makeup mistake and I did it a lot. <laughs> so, um, up next, what have I forgotten? Oh yeah, eyeliner. Eyeliner. Okay. I love liquid eyeliner. Um, I wear it a lot. So it's very daunting and it's probably the most difficult thing I'm going to explain in this tutorial. <laughs> but all you need to know is that it's hard and you will not get it first try. I repeat, you will not get it first try. There will be tears, but you can do it if you believe. This is when you've gotten the hang of makeup a bit more. It's great for a finalized look. Okay? Um, so depending on your eye shape, you'll want to do it differently. I have what's referred to as hooded eyes or hooded as I had some tutorials call it. So that means that my eyes have more creases at the top which makes uh, eyeliner very difficult <laughs> as you can imagine. So the way I do it is I do a little line outside my eye, a little line like this and then fill it in basically. Now a tip is you want your eyeliner to stop where um, you no longer have eyelashes. You don't want it to go further towards your nose uh, where your eyelashes aren't. Um, unless you're doing like a bold, like gothic look. Um, another tip is you want to um, make sure that you're like drawing your eyeliner away from your nose. You want to brush like draw the line in the opposite direction of the nose. This will just be a lot easier for you. It'll cause less pain. <laughs> but if you can't get this one, that's okay. It probably deserves its own video instead of this crazy crash course. Last thing I'm covering is eyeshadow. Now eyeshadow is very daunting because there's a lot of ways to do it, right? Um, so if you just search like eyeshadow makeup brush you'll find the kind of one you want usually because uh, they're very popular <laughs> um, you can get a palette of whatever color you want doesn't matter you can get multiple colors even and you can become obsessed like a soul <laughs> so once you do that literally dab the brush into the eyeshadow and just gently place it on your eyelid you'll want to use eyelid primer for this too but if you already have it on don't worry you can place uh, eyeshadow above um, the eyelid or you can place it under your eye if you want that kind of look. Experiment, see what works and it'll be okay. This is just to create some fancy color with the eyes. This is an essential but might be helpful to you. So how was that? <laughs> how is this crash course? You now know what things are called, you now know what they kind of do and you know how to put them on. Just remember one thing, it won't look amazing first try. It sure didn't look great the first time I did it. If I'm brave enough while editing, I might show clips of makeup when I was younger, but I probably will chicken out. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but makeup's hard, okay? It's tricky, daunting, and you won't get it straight away. But the more you do it, the better you get, you know? And this is a thing that anyone can just pick up and do, okay? You can do this, it'll be okay. And I hope your makeup journey goes amazing and makes you feel even better. As always, stay hydrated and know 
that you are valid.